Hello and welcome. I am Scrapperlock, and this is City of Heroes on the private homecoming server known as Everlasting. We are still playing our level 19 now. Martial Arts Super Reflex Scrapper, Silver Phoenix. She has 116,000 experience and 1,135,000 influence. We're wearing the sewer costume right now because we're in the sewers looking for the Vajaloks. We're currently on the story arc about the Vajalok Plague. And um, our contact, Pavel Garnier, has asked us to come into the sewers and eliminate all the diseased um, Vajalok and find a sample of the disease. So, we're in the sewers, and we're going to be fighting some Vajaloks. Some cadavers, some abominations, some mortificators, and so forth. All right. Let's see what there is to find. Well, these guys are green, so this must be a backloaded mission. Since they're green, I'm not going to worry too much about them. Uh, they won't have much chance to hit me, and I will have tons of chance to hit them. And that's one, two, three. Now four. There we go. All right. Uh, these guys are white. Okay, so we're going to have to pull because four is still a bit much. see how much damage they do to us. Alright, so that stuns him. Shoot this guy with throwing knives or hurl at them. Okay. And he's going all the way down there, which means I'm going to aggro the other guys, but it's alright because he's done. Oh, and these two guys didn't aggro, so we'll stun this one. And we missed him. Got that. Oh, got hit again. These guys are insane with how much damage they do and how often they hit. I don't know. I know they only have like a 35% chance to hit me, but they sure seem to hit me a lot more than that. So now we're going to go through this way. Abomination and Reaper over there. Oh. Yeah, you got to watch out. Because they can be just about anywhere. And I missed again with Cobra Strike. And I got hit again twice by this guy. Three out of four times. Yeah, 30% chance to hit me in my butt. Good, we critted that guy. Oh, still haven't finished him off. It takes so many hits to get these guys, even with dual origin damage enhancers. Good. Knockback is good. Alright. We're certainly doing better against them than we used to. Um, but they're definitely rough, much harder than other types of mobs. And that is going to make Dr. Vajalak himself a bit difficult, since he's going to be an elite boss. Now the Reaper's not going to get a chance to hit me. Wait, wait, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, I didn't get out. Unfortunately, he did not hit me. Yeah, I got caught in the animation time on that. I didn't think he was going to start the... Um, 
the explosion that fast. Jeez. Two misses in a row. And he hit me how many times? Goodness. He must have hit me five times out of six. Look at this. One abomination. Took my health all the way down to zero. One. Because he never missed me. He missed me like once. He missed me with his punch, but he hit me with his vomit every time. Are you telling me that's 30% chance to hit? I don't think so. So I don't know, because like the numbers, the percent chance is right, and the numbers come up correctly, right? So, Abomination hits me with a projectile vomit, 31% chance to hit, he got a 4, right? then Abomination hits you, 31% chance he got a 6. You see what I mean? And I missed him, I got a 95. Right? And then he hit me, 36% chance he got a 28. So, this is the question. When you're rolling die 100, what are the odds you're going to get a 4, a 6, and a 28? You're going to get three numbers in a row, all below 28. And that's what I'm talking about. It just seems like... It seems like it gets stuck in either low or high numbers, and then it just keeps returning high numbers over and over again. So, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's how it seems. However, random number generator... Um... Issues aside, we're not having any major problems with these Vajalok. They are typical in the sense that they do hit a lot. And they get more swings at me because of their smashing resistance. And I keep missing Cobra Strike. So that doesn't, um, that doesn't help me the way it normally does if you hit with it. Right? Because if you miss with it, then it doesn't it can't stun. I missed again. You see, there's no good reason for me to miss more with Cobra Strike. Right? Because it has the same accuracy enhancer on it that everything else does. So I don't know why I keep missing with it. But it's missed like th three of the last four shots. See it missed again. Now, why does that keep missing? Does it somehow have a lower chance to hit than everything else? It shouldn't. Right? Cobra Strike. Accuracy bump. I got a 17% bonus to it. Just like to each of these. So, why does that one seem to miss more? I don't know. Okay, enough about the random number generator. What happens, happens. We miss, we miss, we hit, we hit. Let's move on to finishing the mission. Okay, this is usually the finisher room. I don't know if we've cleaned the whole thing out yet. There may be a boss in here, like a luminous Eidolon. Eidolon. Um, it, close to an Eidolon. All right, let's pull these guys away from it. And, oh, wow, I like one-shotting. That's fun. You gonna try to blow up? See, I thought there were some guys on the other side, too. And so this is another... We talk about, like, best practices. One of the one best practice is to make sure that you clear the room of everything but the boss before you go after the boss. Because you don't want to, like, back away from the boss, say, and, and actually back into the direction of the Reapers and the Abominations. 
Oh, I didn't notice him doing that. See? Okay, we got that. Stunned him, that's good. Done. Excellent. Alright, so as you can see now, all we have left is that one minion and the boss. So I'll take a knee here and just make sure my hit points are absolutely to full. Stopped a little too soon. But we're alright. And... Let's make sure we get this guy out really fast. And now, it's me and you, buddy. He's debuffing me a lot. There's three debuffs. But... I think I've got him. Especially if I can hit with that. He's doing a number on my hit points. But we got him. And now, in the refrigerator are some body parts, perhaps? Got it. And we found a clue. And the clue says, the Vajalok Plague. Oh, vi blood sample. These vials of foul-smelling black blood should help determine the nature of the virulent Vajalok contagion. And the Vajalok Plague says it all started when your contact informed you of a deadly Vajalok disease. And so forth. So, we're done with this. We're going to head out. And we can switch back to our primary costume. What I've actually done is key bound this. So it's JKLJ is for my main superhero costume. And K is for um, my secret ID costume. And L is for my sewer costume. Alright. So let us call Pavel. And Pavel says, Great work, Silver Phoenix. The samples are the disease in its pure form. With these, I can find the antidote. Then he says, again for the Vajalak Plague, I'm sorry to say this, but you've been infected with the Vajalak virus. Oh man, I remember this. Now, I don't want you to panic. It's a very early stage, and we're already working on a cure. If you could take these diseased blood samples to the professor for fi final processing. So what's going to happen is we're now going to get weaker. Vajalak walking disease, wasting disease. So we're at minus regeneration, minus recovery, minus hit points, minus endurance. So if we go to info, right, we're at minus 15% regeneration rate, minus 15% recovery, minus 20 max endurance. So our max endurance is now only 80 instead of 100. And um, minus 76 maximum hit points. So our hit points are now only... 447 instead of 500 ish. So this makes this much harder. So we're going to need to be very careful. And we're probably going to die a few times because the Vajalak disease is really tough. I forgot about that. I honestly totally forgot about that. All right. So, and as you can see, I've got insects swarming around me now. All right. So we got to go to Atlas Park. And fortunately, the. Um, tram is right here. Gosh. Still screwing up on super jump. There we go. Alright, we definitely want to get rid of this. Um, because I have a roleplay event tomorrow and I don't want to show up with um, Vajalok insects swarming around me. Um, although it might be fun to roleplay her having a cold and constantly coughing and wiping her nose. It might be interesting. So we're going to go to the hospital. We're going to get at least one mission where we're going to have to do this mission with the Vajalok plague in effect. So it's going to be pretty tough.
because we're going to have less endurance than usual. We're going to have less hit points. We're going to have less everything. It's just debuffing, like, the whole character. Well, that's weird. They said hospital, but... Um, he's actually not in the hospital. He's here. All right. Thank goodness you're here, Silver Phoenix. Our labs are under attack by the Vajalakia. Here we go. And we need your help. If that lab fa falls to Vajalak, our hope for a cure is ruined. So now we have to defeat Patient Zero and his minions. Fun, fun. So this is going to be brutal. And um, it's going to be very hard. And so, uh, yeah. So one of the things you can do, obviously, if this is if this was so hard that I couldn't handle it, which I don't think it will be, um, you could switch it to a minus one. Um, I think you have to abandon it first and then take it again. And um, then you could switch it to minus one. And it will everything will be blue and green con to you instead of white and yellow. Um, I'm not going to do that. But, you know, a friend of mine on one of the discords um, was saying that we were talking about this and she said something like, um, and we're absolutely going to pull here, by the way, because we're sick. But she said something like she's been keeping her current character on minus one. And I said, well, what, you know, what kind of archetype do you have? She said, oh, she's like a kinetics trick arrow defender or something. Look at this, we're just getting pounded. Let's see if we can stun this guy. And yeah, well, the problem is with the defender, their attack is their secondary rather than their primary, so they don't do a lot of damage. And a lot of them, the kinetics mostly buffs other people, not yourself. And so the problem with that is you're not getting buffed because you're mainly buffing other people rather than yourself. And you can't do a huge amount of damage and you can't buff the damage you're doing the way you could for to others, like they could buff me, and so it's just really slow. So she ends up going through these missions at minus one. Like we were talking about experience gain and everything, and she was saying, well, I don't gain a lot of experience because I'm in minus one missions all the time. So it all depends on how your ar what archetype you have, and um, things would be playing very differently if this were a controller. That doesn't necessarily mean it's not doable, but scrappers are kind of meant to solo like this. And, um, oh boy. Oh, great orange. That is just great. Um, this is going to be really tough because of the stupid wasting disease. Let's see if I can stun him. Great, and the other guy came too. Alright, we've got him. Stun, come on, we gotta stun. Alright, we stunned. Alright, we're gonna live to fight another day. But you're gonna see, I'm gonna have to keep resting after every battle now, because I have. You're starting out with 20 less endurance, and your endurance doesn't recover. And I can't take the toggles off because they're going to just crush me if I do that. So this is just an absolutely brutal mission. But hopefully after this mission we'll get cured. I don't remember. I, I kind of actually have a memory that you um, you stay with this disease for a little while and I was getting really frustrated with it. I might be wrong about that or they might have changed it. Um, but my memory of this was that I was complaining to my super roommates that like you know it's fine for a mission but I don't want to have to you know we were I was like doing other missions and trying to do stuff as a group with them and I couldn't because I was sick because the character you know had this stupid disease and it just made it really frustrating um oh my gosh notice I haven't said anything about the RNG I'm not going to say anything I'm going to be a good little boy um but yeah, you don't have enough inspirations in your tray at this point to really help. 
and uh, you know, you know, in other words, they help, sure, but uh, at higher level, you have like uh, 20 inspirations that you can carry at once. At lower levels, as you can see, you can only carry 10. So 20 would, you know, having four or five heals instead of two would be helpful. I'm gonna have to rest again because endurance is almost gone again because we're at minus recovery and we're starting only at 80 endurance. So, you know, this is fine for a mission. If it goes for a long time, it's frustrating because, you know, you built your character to work a certain way and all of a sudden the character just doesn't work that way anymore. And as one person said, if the end, if the net effect of this is you just got to keep stopping to rest, why is how is that adding fun to the game? You know, resting is is non-fun. It's one of the reasons why they gave everybody the stamina power inherently. And so, if you're going to build something into the game where you're like deliberately forcing people to rest, not necessarily fun. But for one mission, I don't mind it. It's just going to become annoying if it's more than one. Okay, got that. Should take care of him there. Oh, come on. Done. Okay, now. Hit sprint. Um, this is going to kill my endurance recovery, but I think there was another... Yeah, there's another area up here. And so we can't leave any stone unturned because if we do that might be where one of the scientists are. Okay, so there's nothing here. Alright, so we'll go back. Just check over here. I don't see anybody over here. I'm tabbing. No. Okay. So now again, this could be up to five levels. This is level one. Alpha Sector. And now we're in Beta Sector, which is level 2. <clears throat> Again, pulling the Reaper. And again, you, you hide behind something that block breaks their line of sight so that you force them to come to you and you fight the battle on the whole idea of this is you fight the battle on your terms not on their terms right so rather than going in fighting them all at once the way that which is what they want you to do you say no i'm going to fight the battle on my terms and i'm going to make you guys come to me Right, and I'm going to fight you one at a time. So there's another elevator over there. So this is one of these um, intermediate levels that's going to have elevators on both sides, I bet. Yep. All right. So this is getting us to Delta Sector. Oh, Epsilon Sector? I don't know. Another dead end. Okay, hang on, I saw a doorway here. Yep. So let's see. So usually, yep, there's guys over here. Okay, we're gonna pull the Reaper, and there's a scientist. Okay, and again, we're gonna pull the Reaper where we want him. Come over here. Okay, and now we have the Abomination coming, and we're gonna let him blow up. And then we're gonna stun the Abomination if we can. We did, and crit him. There we go. So there's two abominations here. One's embalmed. It looks like, right? Oh no, he's not embalmed. This is tough. 
already out of endurance. Fighting two white cons. Alright, so we saved one of the scientists. And there's more guys over there, so we're going to need to take a knee. And we're going to have to find patient zero, and fighting him is going to be fun with such low endurance. Again, we might we might be to the end of our non-death streak. Reaper, come to me. Come on. And let's try to. Oh, okay. Critted him. Finish him off. Just, oh man. Come on, finish him. There we go. I'm just going to barely make it. Yep. Going to need to rest again. And this is all the Vajalok disease. I mean, they're brutally hard enough at this level, but to add that you're, you have 20% less endurance, 20% less hit points, and 15 or whatever percent less recovery of both endurance and health is just brutal. Yeah, I think this may be one of the toughest... Um, story arcs in the early game and this is probably the toughest mission oh, these guys all right there's two embalms again we'll break their line of sight and let them come at me and then try to stun this one Missed him. Get back. Alright, eating that one up. Come on. Fine, blow up. Alright, we got some more invention salvage. We've rescued one sciences, two to go. We know there's at least one more level because. Oh, it's a dead end. Because there was that um, T shaped or plus shaped um, level above or below us that had two sets of elevators, and this was the only one. Okay, so they we're done on this level. So we're probably going to have two more levels to do. So we're going to go back. And we will um, head across. to this set of elevators beta sector to gamma sector okay alright we can beat these guys up him and there's gonna be a couple more spots to look for um, the scientists so there's this spot here which is leading to a huge room Wow this is a big room. Oh, I remember this room. Yeah, with multiple spawns in it, and they're all yellow to me. Okay, we're gonna do a stun. At least that worked. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, taking out a spawn of yellows is going to just leave me with my health and my endurance bar all the way down a bit. Because of the Vajalok disease. It's really brutal. But very difficult. Alright. Took care of that. So we should be able to go in and beat up. And now we hit the embalmed. He's gonna blow up. I still don't see the other scientists. So we're gonna need to take a knee. Shade Knight trying to figure out how to do a good Doctor Strange or Doctor Fate look. So I'm going to say, um, is this for an alt or a cult? So he's trying to get a Doctor Strange look for his main character. Oh, you know what? I have the Clockwork Allies. I can use them too. Maybe they're worth doing if I get some more lieutenants or bosses. That's actually not a bad idea. I think it still works. You get three uses out of it. Oh. Okay. Another pull. Stun him, that's alright. Fortunately, these guys are stupid as anything. They're dumb as dirt. So. Right, I'm standing right next to him, beating up his buddy, and he didn't even notice because he's stupid. Because he's just a zombie, he's just a radio controlled corpse. And we got a rest. Yep, all my toggles just got turned off. That's because I'm not able to recover. Alright. <clears throat> toggles back on, very important. We do have one luck, which is useful, and we have the clockworks. And we may need to make use of them. There's another scientist. Oh, those are both of the scientists. All right, let's see here. And there's a mortificator. Oh no, it's not, it's a reaper. Oh, it's not another scientist. I thought this was the scientist. It's not, it's just a reaper. Oh man, I'm lucky he didn't get me. Alright, let's stun this guy. Oh, so these scientists are just running around. That's what I saw. Gotta rest again. I have no idea where these other scientists are. Well, there's nothing we could do but just go through the mission and... Wait till we find him. Pull him down. Is he coming down? Okay. Stun. Next one. And pull him down. Is 
stun. Good. Alright, gotta take a knee again. I can't even get through a whole spawn. Yeah, I mean, I know what I'm doing here, but this Vajlak wasting disease on an actual new player who's only gotten to level like 17 or 18 or whatever for the first time. That would be so awful. And it was awful. I remember the first time I did this, I was just like cursing it. Because it's really hard for a new player. It's just brutal. So they're asking about martial arts. So I'm going to say Phoenix is a MASR scrapper. Martial attack set. Oh, blaster secondary. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. But I know nothing about the blaster set. Okay, I think there's a room in here. I hear somebody downstairs. This room has nothing in it. Again, it's weird. So they've captured two scientists. Why are they letting these other people run around the lab? That's kind of odd. There's a captured scientist. Alright, we're going to put a hold on this guy, or stun on this guy. This guy's ignoring me. He's just threatening the scientist. Okay. So, embalmed. Let's stun you. And we got a clue. And the clue is... Scientist conversation. One of the scientists you rescued said, I'm glad you got here when you did. You just missed Dr. Vajalak himself. He found half of our supply of the serum and left to examine it. His minions would have found the rest in a few more minutes. Here, let me give you a shot. You'll be all right soon. I'm afraid that Dr. Vajalak will just alter his disease to make it resistant to our cure. I guess this proves that his so-called humanitarian motives are nothing but a crock. He can't be trying to cheat death if he's spreading a killer virus around. Yeah, he's clearly a bad guy. Alright. We just gotta find the last scientist. And he's not here. Is he behind the stairwell? No. Okay. Well, there's still more of this level to look at, I believe. Oh! Oh no, I thought that was the scientist. Oh, there's Patient Zero. Alright. Let's bring out some clockworks. Since we're still sick. And that will aggro Patient Zero. The clocks help us. Yeah, see the clocks are taking on this guy. They're not going to do much to him. But they're helping us out a little bit. Oh boy. I might die. Got patient zero. Stun the reaper. That's it. That's what we want. Got him. The gears did their job. Thanks guys. I'm debuffed like crazy here. Minus accuracy. Okay. Let's heal up. Plus we're also debuffed like crazy from the Vajalok disease, so uh I really needed two Lux there. Or a Luck and a heal. But just didn't have them. I 
I don't think the patient's over here either. So I don't know where the patient is. Wow, I mean the Vajalox spawns too are much bigger than standard spawns. It's clear that the Vajalox are meant to be um, hard. Because even if you think about their spawns, normal spawns are three white cons. These guys are five white cons. Or maybe a, a, a lieutenant and two or three minions. So it's much harder than the standard for all those reasons. And of course, you know, when I played my Claws Regen Scrapper, this type of thing was no problem because... Oh, there's the scientist. Because Claws... Um, because Claws cut right through these guys. They're vulnerable to lethal. Is he gonna blow up? No. So let's just finish him. Oh, come on, get back. Alright. And now we have to defeat his minions, which are these guys. I don't know if we're gonna have to clean out more guys from the lab. Yeah, there's other areas here, so we might have to defeat them all. Not sure about that. Unfortunately, we have an endurance. And I'm hopeful that once we complete this mission, the Vajalak disease will go away. Mission complete. And the Vajalak disease is gone. You rescued one of the scientists. One of the scientists gave you a shot to cure the Vajalak disease, so we're good. And we will head out. Wait, we will head out. Here we go. Alice Park 2. Alright guys, that was pretty cool. We're moving along in the Vajalak story arc. We're going to call our contact and get our next increment to the story. First, let's take a look at clues. We got our clues, alright. So now we're going to... We get a clue here. And so Dr. Vajalak's minions made off with some of his serum. If Dr. Vajalak modifies the virus to resist the drug, we may not be able to stop the epidemic. And the next mission will be now that Dr. Vajalak has a sample of the antidote. Only a matter of time. Before he can modify the virus and undo our work. However, I've analyzed all the data and I think I have a very viable candidate. For the ground zero on this entire outbreak, I'd like you to go down to the sewers and incinerate everybody you find. If you can manage this silver phoenix, we can put an end to Vajalak's evil, evil plague forever. So we got to go to Boomtown, but we will do that in our next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this run of City of Heroes, and I'll be back again shortly.